What's up, everybody? What's going on? We got Broba and Astro in the chat. Thanks, guys, for being here. Appreciate it. For my first ever Let's Play. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm really excited about this. I've been thinking about it for a while. I love this game. Stream Elements Bot running. What's up, Stream Elements Bot? I don't know what that is. Um, I've been playing this game since it probably came out in 1992. And uh, considering the fact that considering the fact that Indy 5 is probably not going to be that great, I figured why not play a good Indiana Jones story? Um, because this is one of the best, I think. I think The Fate of Atlantis is a great storyline for an indie movie. I've always wished they would have made this into a movie, but a game, a game will do. Uh, I've got my spicy ginger beer and uh, it's supposed to help with alerts and even modding. I don't, I don't need that. Can I make them go away, Astro? I don't need some bot modding me. Who set that up? Nonsense. All right. Without further ado, let's get into it. I do need to know, I don't, I, this is an old game and I'm running it off of Steam. So I want to make sure that you guys can hear the, the, um, volume for the game so uh, without further ado let's go whoops oh shoot there we go blame it on vader yeah 100 percent. blame it on vader do -do -do. Doom, do -doom. i wonder if am i gonna get like struck for uh oh every time i click out of this thing it pauses sorry about that oh you guys can't hear it how much is it on steam i don't remember i bought it forever ago but if you guys can't hear it that's a problem i need to figure out how to make that happen because i'm i'm just sharing the application we don't hear it yes i'm getting audio god damn it How do I fix that, guys? Hmm. Oops. Whoa. I did not mean to do that either. Man, this is a great start. Great start to the live stream. Let me, let me back this camera off a little bit so I'm not just a giant head. All right, let me see here. I'm going to share screen, right? Indiana Jones. Allow. Boom. I'm not hearing anything, but if it's the original score, you can't, you could get caught. That is true. That is true. So, man, this is why I was worried about this. I was worried about getting. my uh audio not going through i don't know how to do this stuff dude i know vader's supposed to come and help me set up my obs we're gonna see how it goes but anyway <clears throat> this is just like the pre-credit scene this is like how you teach yourself how to play the game hmm still no game audio how do i fix that look i'm getting text messages from kadish <laughs> He's like, hey, you're screwing it up. Whatever you're using to stream, is there a share audio option? Uh, no, it just says, um, it asked me whether or not I want to mute. Let me see, share screen, yes. Maybe. Mm, what am I using? Am I using Chrome or Firefox? Oh, I'm using Firefox. I bet you that's why it's not working. Because Firefox doesn't allow me to do random things that Chrome does. Hmm. What's up, Quantum Cat? What's going on, guys? All right, I'm just going to buzz through this real quick. I, wa I was worried about that because the music is playing, but it's like that 16-bit music. And I don't know if YouTube would like copy strike me on that. Yeah, I'm using StreamYard. Yeah, I'm not using I'm not using uh, OBS because I don't know how to do OBS stuff. Let 
looks like textiles. Um, God, would I be able to exit out of this and start using Chrome? Maybe that would fix it. I don't know if that's going to ruin the stream for you guys or not, though. I'd have to like, ex I'd have to completely leave the whole studio and just come back through Chrome. I don't know. So this is the, it's like the talk. Yeah. Boom. Original music and arrangements. So it's just the uh, beginning of the game, credits and stuff like that. Let me see. Would you guys be okay if I tried to open Chrome and maybe that way you guys could have some audio? Let me know. Let me know if that would like, I don't, might have to restart everything. I don't know how to do that. Let's see. I'm not going to end broadcast, but do I need to leave the studio? Maybe I can play a video for you guys real quick. Let me see. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have any commercials or anything like that. I have a 26 second countdown. That's the only thing I could do to fill some space. But I think if I left, it would end the broadcast. Uh oh. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Go for it. Works for you. Okay. All right. I'm going to do it. I might have to take this whole stream down afterwards because nobody's, <laughs> nobody's going to watch it. <laughs> I'll be, let me see. Let me, I'll be right back. I don't know if this is going to keep going or not, but I'll be right back. Hold on one second. Hey, I'm back. How fast was that? <laughs> Let's see. All right. Share screen. Chrome tab, window, entire screen. Okay. Let's see. Moment of truth. All right. Let's see Chrome. How's that, guys? Talk to me. A pre-recorded DC ad read? I probably do, but not um, not something that I can click on right away. Not hearing anything. Ah, god damn it! All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have Vader set up OBS for me. Uh, but for now, we'll just. You'll just have to deal with me. All right. So I played this game a million and a half times. I have a lot of fun with it. Um, so I'm just going to blaze through the beginning part. I know there's a statue in one of these lockers, so I just need to find it. I'll be, uh, yeah, Mr. Trickle Trunk. I had to restart the, uh, stream with a different link. I had to redo it for reasons. I logged into the wrong StreamYards account. That's why. So that's it. So I'm not in control of the game anymore. It's doing like its own thing now. Um, this is Vader's texting me right now. I got no game audio. He's going to be like, you idiot. You should have used freaking OBS. Okay, she's here, guys. <clears throat> Oh, sorry, sorry. Here, let me. Uh, I'm gonna try doing something different instead of sharing screen. Share system audio. How are you doing? My when I share the window, it doesn't have any game audio. Oh yeah, you gotta do um... entire screen and share system audio. Yes. Yeah, but then this thing's only this big, so 
They're going to see. Uh-uh. That's as big as it gets. All right, let's go to this. We'll see how this goes. It could be a disaster. <laughs> oh, here, let me see if I can make myself. Hmm. This is a absolute disaster, guys. I apologize. Okay, let's see. Look at all well, Dr. Charles. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? How about that, guys? Can you get any audio? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? Oh, you, you do have sound now. Okay. All right. Take a look. Well, I'm going to make myself. Oh, Jesus. That's ridiculous. I guess that's just how it's going to be. I'll what figure it out next time. For? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening. Yeah. Opening a new chapter in history. I'm gonna move all my stuff so it's not so distracting. There you go. My word, India, small metal bead, jewelry, perhaps. I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith. Stand Alt back, enter. Gentlemen. Let's find out. I hope you've got uh, a getaway car waiting. You'll need Mr. One. Trickle Trunk, my man. Hmm. Excellent what job. Is sir. Ah! Close the porn window, death row. Ah! Ah! Mr. Trickle Trunk for the win, guys. That's it right there. He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Mr. Tickle Trunk. Hey, what's bad. this? No, I had an R because I'm freaking an idiot. Klaus Kerner, <laughs> Mr. huh? Tickle Trunk. Good lord. For the win. He demands some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What does the spy want with the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. Hmm. I don't think it's a phone. I don't think it's a phone. I can't place the style, but it's old. <laughs> Look what sorry, else our buddy. friend was carrying. Sorry about that. I'm really bad at my job. An old copy of National Archaeology. The the and there you are in Iceland. <laughs> yeah, field supervisor Sophia for the Hackett. Jastro expedition. My Ooh, first real baby. job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. You know... He does a pretty convincing Where is she now? for a video game. I was she never gave up archaeology to become a psychic. I always felt like he did pretty good. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Is it? Is it louder? I don't know how to even change that. Again, this is my first time doing this, so I have to see. I don't know if there's settings. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, let me see. Mr. Tickle Trunk. How do you open the settings in this game? I can't move it. Okay. I'm just play I'm messing around with my keyboard right now. Let's see if I can open the settings and turn the volume down. Tab? No, not tab. F1. Oh, here we go. F1 is the save menu. Let's might as well just save it. Okay. Ten escape or tab. F ten escape or tab. Tab is like select, like it moves your character around. I'm gonna pick up the newspaper real quick. Hmm. Are you sure you want to restart? No, 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 no. I don't want to restart. Twelve.
Whoa, that was not what I meant to do. Sorry, guys. So if I turn my, how's that? If I turn my volume down, does that work? Rolling volume. What is rolling volume? Yep, I think that I think that worked, dude. Pickle drunk man. Can't believe it. You're on top of everything. All right, I'm gonna go talk to the ticket master. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. <laughs> I have Google. Oh, okay. You're Googling it. Nice. Oh, my face is in the way of the dialogue. Oh, that's a problem, too. Now wait. No seats, no standing room, no, no exceptions. exceptions. I love the voice actors in this game. They're so fun. All right. We're going to go back and we're going to go talk to Biff. Not Biff. I can't remember his name. Is it Biff the Doorman? I think it's Biff. Hmm, it's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. So there's two ways you can go about this. You can insult him and then fight him. Uh, which, by the way, I should probably turn fight on. Biff Tannen. I think it might be a reference to Biff Tannen, yeah. Um, or you can outsmart him and you can get in by playing to his stupidity, which is what I'm going to attempt to do here. Um, so if you say Darwinian Nightmare, you uh, you insult the guy, I think. So I'm going to say I'm here to enjoy Madame's outrageous oration or whatever. I'm here to enjoy Madame's outrageous orations. Orations. This ain't that kind of show. Let's see. Uh... I think she's a... Oh, of course yeah. not. Madam Sophia is a serious thinker. Don't kid around, pal. You're talking about my idol. Ooh, that's a clue. He's in love with her. I think she's the greatest. No kidding. I think she's the greatest. Me too. They something about her. So is the audio better now that I did that? Can I, can I turn it up or do you want me to leave it at like halfway? Uh, okay, so she's very pretty. She's very smart. I think this guy thinks he she's brilliant. Uh, so I'm going to play to that. I'm going to say she's very smart. So let's Yeah, see. she's very smart. Smart? I'll say. You know what I really like? It's the way she... she... Okay, I got to finish this sentence for him. Yeah, audio is good. Great. I'm glad we worked this out. Thank you guys for your help. This is awesome. Um, cons folks out of her hard earned cash the way she tosses her head when she laughs that's a good one might pick that one uh, the way she makes things easy to understand okay so this guy's an idiot and that is probably the one to go with let's see the way she hires poor Neanderthals like you <laughs> oh that would be fun to say but I'm going to go with this one because I want to get inside the way she makes things easy to understand that's it. All that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her. Say, you're okay for a college boy. Hmm. And there it is. Come on in. Boom. Access granted. Now, if you notice, he follows me in, but then he disappears. <laughs> um, I'm going to talk to this guy. This guy's a pain. There, it's a, it's a process to get this dude to... Uh, to bounce so that you can mess with these lights but let's go talk to him excuse me aha you must be the new doorman about time they got rid of biff it is he biff. Was such a pushover it is biff i think that's a reference to back to the future i want to say it is this came out in 92 so i think back to the future three what year did that come out 1990 i think uh i need to see now i can insult her in front of him because he doesn't give a crap. He, he's an old man, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mess with it. I need to talk to that so-called psychic. It's Madame Sophia, to us employees, fella. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me try talking to him again. I can't remember what this what the dialogue stage is for this guy. Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. There we go. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. 
as it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. We need to make a, a remake. Five thousand years movie ago, was made today, while it would be everyone Graham, Graham else Hancock still wore animal the skins. Right now. <laughs> the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous Graham philosopher Hancock Plato movie, wrote about it. Game. He I, placed Atlantis it, on a continent out brilliant. in the deep ocean and, and described how it was divided actually, into three circular parts. Such uh, as you see here. Weird. Might be true. Isn't she something? Might be true. She can go on for hours. All right, let's talk to this guy again. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. <laughs> what befell the serene find a way city? To his own spiritual beliefs we may like never Graham. know yeah. for sure. Yeah, for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher? Or the earth itself suddenly shifting. Or he, be, <laughs> Sophia However it happened, drops acid or does mushrooms must halfway have through the game. The citizens. <laughs> On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the, the waves. The global flood. This is when uh, that guy Carlson comes in. What's his name? Randall Carlson? Or perhaps it was a volcanic eruption hmm. and something remains even now. Maybe. On some questions, the great spirit who I guides my chat. thoughts. How many people believe in Atlantis? The all-seeing Nurab Sal. Three people watching, so I want to see three comments. <laughs> Nurab Sal. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Ayahuasca sip, yeah. <laughs> He's just tripping balls the whole time. All right, let's talk to this guy again. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? What now? I love this guy. Uh, you look tired. Wouldn't you like to call it a day? Hmm, let's see. Madam told me to tell you you're fired. I don't think that one would work. I, I think this is the one. I, isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life. Uh, don't you ever read? I think, okay. Let me see. Don't you ever get bored? I think it's don't you ever read. Don't you ever read? Sure, it's a hobby of mine. No kidding. You don't say. Atlantis, I want to read this comment real quick. Atlantis might have been found, but it's not in the water. It was surrounded by water. Rings. I found a really good video on top. Are you talking about the um, that thing in Africa in the middle of like the Sahara Desert with the, the rings? I, I've, I watched that episode too. That's a great theory. I love it. What if I give you something to read? I might take a look. Hmm, okay, well, give this newspaper to this guy. Oh, come on. Give newspaper to Stagehand. There Here. No, well, it's well, not the late it's, uh, I wonder if the Dodgers won. It's that young guy. Watch the lights while I find uh, out, okay? He's like a YouTube channel. All right, bounce, kid. Get out of here. All right, cool. Now let's mess with these lights. I think it's push... Push the left. Yep, and then push the button. Boom, done. Perfect. There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis <laughs> through... Atlantis uh, is a flying city on another planet. May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of... of... Deceit. Yeah. Deceit. Mr. TT, Thanks, completely baby. agree. Indiana Jones, hmm? you've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. <clears throat> oh, great. Good night, folks. You know, for a 16-bit character... Come on, mister. Looking. I've got a few words to mince with you. If this channel was monetized, I would say Super Chat. I'd say it's about time. Look at Sophia's necklace. If you've played this game before, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. Hmm. No one here. Look at it. <laughs> I have to come up... Or here uh, either. I have to come up with some kind of an incentive for you guys for me to ask Sophia to look at the necklace. <laughs> I was thinking about making that the thumbnail for this video, though. That would have been funny.
Dr. Oberman. Fantastic news. We found the treasure we see. Dr. Oberman. Oh, they really are just going to let me watch them walk away. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen German to this. Wizard splits Germans atom. claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Mm -mm. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announced his plan Germans. to harness new sources of energy They're for the, the Third Reich. They're the best for any movie or game. Because you can do whatever so? you want to them and nobody cares. Okay, so I don't, it doesn't really matter what I say here. Um, India apparently is very skeptical about nuclear power. So let's say uh, they're dreaming to me. Sounds like they're dreaming to me. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Hmm. Uh, let's see. You've been dealing with goods on the black market. So does Indy. Uh, let's see. You never published a word of your finds. Well, I don't know if that's true or not. You concealed important out of artifacts. You stole things from my expedition. Hmm. I'm going to say... Cons I don't know. Black market. Uh, no. Published. Yet you never published a word about your finds. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. <laughs> I have no idea if that's You're true. You're lucky or not. I don't have you arrested. I so what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. I think we're going to get to see the necklace here, guys. Stay tuned. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? Yeah, he did. My necklace. <laughs> Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's that's mouth. The pause menu. I'm just going to put that as, yeah, that's a thumbnail right there. How, does it, how is that not? Gorgeous. Whoever designed this with pixel art was incredible. Got the shading just right. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Hmm. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. I'm not interested in spiritual mumbo jumbo. That sounds like something Indy would say. Or maybe don't try your psychic act on me. Don't try your psychic act on me. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence. Which I don't. Which I don't. <laughs> Let's see. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. That sounds like an indie line. Atlantis has been underwater for centuries. Who knows where these beads really come from? And you may have just used the last bead. I'm going to say no idea where to find your mythical lost city because that sounds just snarky enough to be Harrison Ford. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Nurab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. <laughs> the Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. If Plato wrote it, later authors would have reported it. Um, I'm going to say it's not in any library I've ever seen or ever been in. Because that sounds like an indie line to me. It's not in any library I've ever been What's in. up, Nick? How you doing, buddy? What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever Thanks think of that? Us, Appreciate it. Hmm. I'm playing some classic indie. Uh, let's see. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Bjorn. Maybe we should pay him a visit. Yeah, let's go pay Bjorn a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Oh. 
Here's the music. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but. All right, let's go to Iceland. All right, this is when the game actually begins. I consider this to be the first level. All that stuff was just like a prep. Let's see. Because you actually have to, I think you have to solve a puzzle in this one. Or you might have to just talk to this guy. Talk to the crazy Bjorn. Pardon me. Hmm. Dr. Indiana Hyun, I love this guy's voice. And Madam Sophia Hapgood. This is my big fight now. Okay, Go good. away. Good. The music, the ambiance and the music in this game is so important. Uh, that's what I was... You guys have to be able to hear it. It's just so good. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little antagonistic. Just, I don't know, because I feel like it. Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. That's what the Greeks called You've Iceland. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land and how they never <laughs> set foot upon it. This dude does sound like he's from Norway. After it's... traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. <laughs> Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Having watched uh, Norseman on Netflix Papika, and getting you know an idea what of like, actually what stopped the, them, Sean? the sing songy style of uh, like Norwegian speech. I've never picked up on that before, but this guy's actually doing it. It's pretty funny. Uh, maybe they didn't allow time in their itinerary. I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. I th antagonistic. Let's go antagonistic. No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. Boom. He was stopped by a force field a force put field. here by beings not of this earth. I love it. Aliens. <laughs> this game is amazing. Mm, that's fascinating, Doctor. You know, to be fair, um, this game came out in 1992, long before that non-existent alien Indiana Jones movie supposedly came out, so he wouldn't have interacted with aliens yet why did these beings show up here i am convinced that these travelers came to earth to form colonies like atlantis using hyperborea as a space part up north here we're close to the ether it's a perfect landing site have you ever heard of plato's last dialogue i'm, I'm gonna get straight to the point no, I'm not. We're going to go, well, where'd you find these other spaceports? Well, got to find those other spaceports. <laughs> Good luck, fellow believer. Yes, thankfully, there are only three Indiana Jones movies, for sure. Oh, oh that ruined it. I got to talk to him again. Dr. Heimdall. You again. Must you buy your me? All right, let's just get to it. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. Hmm. There are two people you might want to visit. There we go. Charles Sternhardt in Carl Peacock, Sternhardt? a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. Hmm. And Philippe Costa in the Aethos Island. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp trader. He's a sharp trader. Okay. So we got two people that we need to go visit. Uh, I'm just going to bounce. I'm going to get out of here. So long. So long. See ya. I think that's all. Good luck, fellow believer. Fellow believer. Uh, let's get the heck out of here. We're going to talk to Sophia. We're going to exit the cave, and we're going to talk to Sophia. And if you guys are super nice in the chat, maybe I'll ask her if I can look at her necklace. Let's talk to... Ah, talk to Sophia. Sophia. Yes? Um... I think the good doctor's got frostbite of the brain. I'll say, spaceport my eye. <laughs> I'd love it if like a flying saucer just like buzzed by in the background. <laughs> what do we do now? What do we do now, Sophia? Let's find Costa and Sternhart. All right. Let's look around. Okay. All right, guys. What do I do? Do I jump in the truck or do I ask Sophia? Look at her necklace. 
bunch of pervs. Go to the truck. <laughs> Let's head for the airport. A whopping four people watching. Hey, thanks, guys. I really appreciate the support. I know this is a very, very small channel, and we're just kind of goofing around. It's me and Vader's little side project. But uh, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, so let's see. We have to go talk to this guy. Okay, so if I remember correctly, we have to talk to the guy in South America. <laughs> and then we get a bead there, and then we fly to the Azores. I think. I could be wrong. We're going to try it out. Let's see how it goes. A white Russian float? Nick, that sounds incredible. Send me the recipe for that. Is it like a root beer float, but with right, like, Kahlua and vodka? That sounds incredible. All right. Sophia? Yes? Looks like the end of the road. There's got to be a way through. Well, I'm going to explore the area. Go right ahead. I'll wait here. Yep, you sure will. All right, let's go to the jungle. Now, this part I do not remember. I know you have to get this, like, big rodent to uh, go through one of these caves. But I don't remember which one it's supposed to be. So I'm going to use... I'm going to walk towards it. Let's see. It's going to scare it over there. Okay, I'm going to use my whip. With the rodent. That critter's too far away. Oh, excuse me, Andy. Dang it. Okay, so this one goes to there. I think it's this one in the middle. Let me see. Maybe I can test it out. Let's see. Yep, okay. So I got to get the rodent to go to the middle <laughs> dude this is tricky i don't remember how to do it oh god get it get it go 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 oh yes okay he's there he's there perfect okay <laughs> oh let's see you might need a head with a necklace to find your way Let's see. Use whip on the rodent. I think this is it. This is the one. Yep, here's the music. Cue the music. Bingo. Snake grab falls off the cliff. Now I can walk on the uh... good old mother nature. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's go. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. All right, so I'm going to, I think it's use. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Strawberry float with vodka. I should have taken pictures. They were overflowing. Wow, where'd you guys go wow, for that? that some awesome. bridge. You're making me thirsty. Hi, Indy. I'm just drinking a, there's a straight ginger beer. It's Hello. Spicy. How did you get over here? How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Oh, look at the bot doing the work. Please help us out and hit the like and subscribe. I think everybody that's watching right now has already subscribed to the channel, so thank you. Let's see. Let's look around. Let's look around. So I'm going to pick up. Okay. I should talk to this bird. What does this bird have? This bird has a clue. Um, Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker. Why not? Oh, they want a cracker. Hmm. <laughs> Something about that bird is important. I can't remember what it is, though. Stop! I'm begging your pardon. You can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. This guy's a prick. Can I help you with something? Postcard? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs?
Uh, no thanks, Mr. Hmm. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. Independent thinker. Too bad you didn't advertise the channel on your Twitter. Well, this being the first time I've ever live streamed, I really wasn't sure how well it was going to go, so I didn't want to have like a huge crowd of people be pissed off and disappointed. Um, but thank you for helping me work it out. Now, the next episode, I will... Uh, I will advertise because now I figured it out with your help. I, I would not be here without you. <laughs> I was struggling. Uh, let's see. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals claim my Indian species. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive <laughs> savages or does it seem much to advertise it anyway. Come watch me screw up. I kind of did on, on Discord. Let's see. Why aren't we allowed inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? Silly I only tourists. show the temple to reputable scholars. Oh, reputable, huh? I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. Hmm. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones, and I'd like to explore the temple. Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. <laughs> Actually, it was the name of a dog. Sophia! Call back to the movies. Always a good thing. Does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself. But old legends and rumors die hard. What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. Hmm. Men who are not men. What are men who are not men? Who knows? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. <laughs> yes, post a come make fun of the noob stream. Women, men who are not men. <laughs> this wasn't made in 2023. <laughs> uh, you guys you actually up. believe Atlanteans lived here? Get my, this mini little channel. After my, the city sank, already. this is where they came, I'm sure. It's like strucking down hate speech. Let's see. I, I'm, I'm probably going to be taken down for playing this game anyway because there's a damsel in distress halfway through it and you have to save her. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's lost dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Hmm. Oh, no! I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Um... Socrates, Gluteus Maximus, that's the butt muscle. The Gluteus Maximus. Hippocrates. Um. The Hippocrates. Hippocrates! Oh! Too bad, Old Black, that's not the, the bird. No, 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 come back. God dang it. Stop! Excuse me, the temple isn't open to the public. Okay, come on. I think I think I remember what to do now. Listen. Yes. Okay, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. I'd really like to explore the temple. I have to get that Tell bird me the name to say of the lost dialogue I, I think the bird knows the title. Let me see. Um, title, title, title. I don't know the title. Title. You're no student of Atlantis, then. Wasn't there copy protection? Uh, I don't know what you mean. With, like, the music or something, or what? Let's go talk to the bird. Polly won a cracker. Title, question mark. Yes, I think the bird knows the title. Title? Hermocrates! A friend of Socrates! Perfect. Got it. Stop! 
Sorry, old boy. Only accredited researchers are allowed in. Ah, come on, talk to this guy. Listen. Yes. Uh, About the exploring the temple. Title. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Hermocrates. A friend of Socrates. That's the answer. The Hermocrates. That's it. Perfect. That's it. Thank you, Bird. Well, now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Let's go. Sorry, right, so this is like Here a... we are. Let's see what you can do. Um, okay, so I need to this is let's look at this. He says something about this. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Hmm. There's something different about it. I love this like old cartoon. You can always tell. Um but there's something special about something because it's slightly different than the background because it's not like a matte painting. Uh, let's talk to Sophia real quick. Uh, like a book picture wheel type thing that came with this game that you needed to use to get past certain questions. They might have had something like that back in the day, but I never, I never had one of those. Sophia, let's talk. What's up? Uh, I need to distract Sternhardt. Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Go use Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Go use your feminine wiles on him. You know what Hermocrates, the friend of Socrates? <laughs> I never learned anything fun like that in history class. That's not fair. Uh, pick up lantern. I gotta open the lantern. I'm gonna use the kerosene to melt the stuff off the Side of that thing. Let's see. Pick up. Yeah, pick up. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Have you seen this necklace before? Yeah, exactly. That's how she's going to distract them. Hey, have you ever seen this before? You're going to sit there and stare at her for 20 minutes. <laughs> Excuse me, won't you? What? Let's see what your friend is up to. Uh, leave me alone, Sternhardt. Okay, use lamp with this. So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope, I hope you know what you're Jimmy. doing. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Perfect. Remarkable. Pick up spiral shape. Now oh. I got it. Marvelous. Put that sucker in my inventory. Use it with this wall mount. It fits perfectly. Boom. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. And then I think it's pull. Amazing. Show up, Sternhardt. You're an idiot. Pull. Boom. Look at that. Astonishing. Ha ha. Bless my soul. The tomb of an Atlantean king. Let's see There's how much more I'm this with images of land and sea Ten minutes on left, guys. Ten I minutes. do believe it's a world stone. A stone? At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait! Oh no, he Where got away! Where did the trap door come from? Talk, let's talk to Sophia real quick. Sophia, let's talk. What's up? Yeah, I was going to do just an hour. What's up, Whiskey Jack? What do we do now? I was going to keep these streams I'm not sure. An hour, we could keep looking, or gonna, we could I move on. I think this is like a five-hour game, so I figured it would be five episodes, an hour each. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking about doing. We can play with a little bit. We can go a little longer if you want. We've got five people watching now, thanks to Whiskey Jack. What's going on, dude? Who knows? Maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. Um, obviously, we're going to pick up the bead. Too bad for Sternhardt. He missed the Oracalcum bead. That's it, huh? Yeah, okay. Make sure you tag Mangold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, definitely going to be... This is better than Indy 5. Use the truck. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's find the airport. All right, so now we have to go to the Azores and talk to the old man. I think this is when you get to play as Sophia for a short time. Because you have to, like, woo, like, flirt with this dude. <laughs> it's a super weird part of the game. You gotta, like, use, uh, use some fun lines of dialogue to get this guy all horned up. This is his house? This is it. Uh, okay, well, let's, um... I don't know, open door? I don't know if I open the door. Yep, there we go. Mr. Costa? Pipe down, I'm coming! <laughs> Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Look, it's Vader. <laughs> if it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Okay. Um... I'm just going to get straight to the point. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? It's not who I am. It's, okay, I'm a, I should say I'm a fellow believer. Should I should I entertain him or you know or should I just get straight to the point? Hmm. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Are those your Discord notifications we're hearing? It must be. Yeah, those little dings. I was wondering, can you guys hear those? That's funny. Freaking computers. Um, I'm a fellow believer. Yeah, I have Discord is that open right? on the side. Do you know where Atlantis is? Yes, of course I do. I asked you first. <laughs> I like that one. I asked you first. Hmm. Come closer, boy, and I'll tell you. You're standing on it. What? You're kidding. No one believes me. That hurts. Oh, crap. I used the wrong dialogue. Dang it. Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> uh, what will you play after you finish this game? I think you would love the, some Telltale games like Back to the Future and Batman. Um... Those sound fun. I wouldn't mind doing those. I was planning on doing a survival game with uh, Broba Fett called Grounded, I think, after this one. But we'll see. All right, I got to talk to Sophia real quick. He wanted to do some co-op stuff with me. Talk to her, Indy. Listen. Yes? I've, yeah, I've played hundreds of hours of Subnautica. I love that game. Here, you talk to the man. All right, this is when we get to play as Sophia. Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. Can I look at my own necklace? My necklace. <laughs> Can she look at <laughs> She's so aggressive about it. My necklace. My necklace. <laughs> uh, the sequel wasn't too great. Yeah, I've never even downloaded the Sub-Zero sequel. Mr. Costa! This better be important. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. Oh, he comes outside for her. Yep, sexist bastard. <laughs> Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia? A renowned psychic? Ooh, he knows who she is. I hope my friend didn't pester you dirty too much. Dirty old man. <laughs> he is, he is a he dirty is a old man. He's a friend of yours? Well, no. He didn't pester me that much. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can flirt with this guy to get what we want. Uh, he just has to learn to be more tactful. We need some help from you. Oh, she's probably going to say that all sexy-like. Actually, he's named after a family dog. Should we insult Indy? Should we ins no, that would be more man-gold modern Indiana Jones. We're not going to do that. We need some help from you. Happy to oblige. Let's see. What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? Check that out. What do you want to <laughs> know? Sophia's a smoke show, dude. Sophia Hapgood is a smoke show. 
Do you have it? Nope. Nope. Have you read have it? Have you read it? Nope. Huh. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. Uh-oh. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. <laughs> Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Oh, I don't have anything Goodbye to trade. Goodbye for now. Then. At your command, madam. Don't go... be a stranger now. Oh, shoot. What a charming old man. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? Hmm. Can I? I'm going to look at the necklace. Oh, I'll talk to Okay, so let's talk to Indy. Indy? Yes. Uh, take I think you better take over. <gasps> oh no, the woman gives okay, up. Okay, I'll think of something. <laughs> All right, I think I remember what we have to do. They're priceless. Trade him a handy. <laughs> I bet you he would take it too. Wouldn't that be wild if that was an option? Let's see. Use the car. All right, let's go. Sophia, come on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> She's yelling at her. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. Um, I think we have to go back to Iceland. I think so. I don't know if it's in the in the library. No, the dialogue is in the library and the trade is in Iceland. That's right. Use plus pants. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we should just flash them. <laughs> Use plus shirt. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are dirty. All right, let's go look at this poor bastard. Too bad. He's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. Let's look at this. It looks like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. You don't say. Well, guess what we happen to have. I have one bead. Yeah, I said use. It fits perfectly. Whoa. Look, it melted itself right <laughs> out of the ice. Yeah. This necklace? <laughs> Farts in a jar. She's not a modern ethot. She's a 1940s sophisticated woman, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> pick up pick up the eel all right let's get the heck out of here let's go trade with the dirty old man let's go back to the dirty old man this poor guy he's frozen solid go outside there we go okay use truck let's go what time is it? oh we got two minutes let's head left. for the airport all right i'll tell you what we're gonna save and bounce after we uh trade this guy well, that'll be a nice stepping off point before before we go get the lost dialogue. She has class. She only has cleavage and handy stopper. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are terrible. I think my next thumbnail is definitely going to be going to be that, though, for sure. All right. Let's open this freaking door and get this dirty old man back out here. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Uh, let's talk about a trade. Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? What you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. That was easy. Now listen carefully. I don't know exactly where to find it, but... What? The Lost Dialogue of Plato was in the Dunlop Collection, got that? Yeah, Dunlop. I think so. The Dunlop Collection. Very good. Nice doing business with you. The Dunlop <laughs> Collection. 
You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Dunlop collection. You don't say. Oh, cutscene. What's up, Matt Vader? Dr. Uberman. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. Kerner, at last! See what Herr Jones <laughs> has kindly provided. This is a classic what single player Earth? game, sir. Isn't it amazing? I don't know what leisure. What is this leisure suit? You Larry, fool! You come back to about. show me this, this, this prehistoric knickknack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Hmm. Then we have failed! I see no is, evidence here of some magical metal plate or cold or a calcum! Look here, concealed in the base is this small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess. No, we I don't know. What that is. Treasure I'll wish. Google it after this. I'll I watch video never or guess. We must I'm, guess. Thinking, I'm guessing it's some like dirty video game thing or something. My God. Mine. We've done it. <laughs> the energy of uranium without any radioactivity. Ooh. And those smart American scientists know nothing. That gives me an idea. The first adult All point and click game. To be inside this uh, statue's open mouth. That sounds creepy. <laughs> Is it from the 90s? Really? You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your right imagination, Carter. Think big like the American. Think of bomb. <laughs> think, think like American. Think bombs. Eighties. Oh man. All right. Well, we're gonna let this dialogue play out. We're gonna save it. And we're gonna bounce. Huge in the nineties. Really? No, I had no idea. So why are you dragging me in here? Playing this fine game. Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? Nope. <laughs> no thanks. You'll just get in the way. No thanks. You just get in the way. <laughs> fine. I'll meet you in your office. He watched her walk away. 100%. All right, guys, let's see. F1. Yep. All right, we're going to save as SMP. I guess it shouldn't be SMP, but we're going to save it as SMP. Okay. All right. That is it for the first episode of Salty Nerds Play Games. Oh, oh shit. Boom. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I'm way too big. Let me make, kind of make myself smaller. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for being here. Uh, Mr. Tickle Trunk, thank you so much for helping me with the um, uh, with the tech issues there at the beginning. Appreciate it. I will be back next Saturday around 10 p.m. to uh, play another hour of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. See you next time, guys. Adios. Oh, I can do a, oh, I can do an outro. Hold on. I can do an outro. Where's the stay salty one? There it is. Bye.